Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Josiah Hornblower, the first person to build a working steam engine in the future United States of America. Now, when our modern minds think of steam engines, we usually go to railroads, and before that, we might go to steam boats. But steam engines were originally built over in England to pump water out of mines. You see, when you're digging for mines for a variety of natural resources, if you get deep enough, you just might get flooded. And steam engines were first built to pump water out of those mines so people could keep digging even deeper and make even more money. However, England was very picky about its steam power. It was proud of it, and it didn't want to let any of the information on how to build a steam engine out of England. Now, Josiah Hornblower was born over in Great Britain, and both his father and older brother were early engineers who worked on steam engines. Hornblower seems to have snuck under the radar and come to North America with a few extra parts and information that he was not supposed to bring, but somehow, despite still being colonially subservient to England, he is brought over by none other than the Schuyler family to work in a copper mine in New Jersey where Josiah Hornblower builds the first steam engine in the future United States. As I said before, its purpose was to pump uh, water out of the copper mine into the Passiac River, and this worked pretty successfully. Over the ensuing 20 years, Hornblower becomes more and more American. He serves in the militia during the French and Indian War, and when the American Revolution itself breaks out, well, Hornblower sides with the Patriots. He pretty shortly thereafter is actually elected to the New Jersey Council. Uh, by this point, he had become a leading citizen by building other mines and mills and opening a really successful hardware store, and through that, being a merchant, specifically in hardwares. He also, with his engineering experience, helped a wide variety of people build a wide variety of things. So, as I said, he's elected to the New Jersey uh uh, New Jersey Assembly after independence is declared and when the assembly is created under the state's constitution. He serves there for several years and eventually is becomes its speaker of the New Jersey House before being put on the Executive Council. As we've discussed before, the Executive Councils in some of these early constitutions were kind of half governor's cabinet and half state senate. So it was a really important position. He was a leader of New Jersey during this revolutionary time. In 1785, after the war concludes, Hornblower is actually sent to the Continental Congress under the Articles of Confederation for a year, where he apparently was prompt and voted every time he was supposed to, but didn't take a leading position in any of the debates. Now, after the Constitution is ratified, Hornblower ends up, well, it seems like he wants to retire, but he is pulled back into service. Uh, he is actually chosen as a... Um, a county judge. He is elected as a judge for his county, and he spends the next 20 years in this position, the, the remainder of his life, where, again, he does help build more mills uh, for a wide variety of people. He works uh, as the head of an association of mill owners, uh, and he really helps contribute, at least in New Jersey, the push towards the Industrial Revolution that steam power would bring. I'll remind you that by the time the Constitution is ratified, the idea of steam power has now gone from mills and mines to boats. And that's where, as we've discussed before, uh, a real competition, as I like to call the steam wars, breaks out between four separate people trying to get monopolies on their steamboats, on certain waterways to operate their steamboats. And a lot of that is thanks to Josiah Hornblower, who was the first person to help anywhere in the future United States develop power that wasn't either water, horse, or person. Uh, and that is steam power. And that's the story of Josiah Hornblower, a really important, not just American revolutionary, but early industrialist in a lot of ways. Though, I guess he wasn't as wealthy as we usually think industrialists. He did help bring the Industrial Revolution to the United States. So that's the story of Josiah Hornblower. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. Put out videos about different American founders seven days a week. And I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.